wait a minute, this isn't my car. When I'm thinking about buying a new car, I turn to my two favorite celebrities to see what they've driven, Jason Statham and Pierce Brosnan. Both of them have driven this. Today's spotlight is on this 2000 BMW 750iL with its V12 engine, full leather interior, and a whole lot of other extras. We're going to be going in depth with this car, showing everything about it, taking it for a drive, and telling you what you need to know if you're in the market for BMW's ultimate V12 driving machine. The number one car on our list to film was an E38 750iL and we're ecstatic to finally get the chance to drive one. This is easily the cleanest example of an E38 I've ever seen so far, with a lowered suspension and authentic AC Schnitzer rims being the only exterior mods done to this car. As this is a 2000 model year, the turn indicators are all amber, but gives the car a modern look thanks to the pristine headlights and immaculate black paint. <laughs> With the V12 you get two batteries in the trunk and dual pane sound insulated glass all around. You can tell the car has this glass by the black trim around the lip of the glass and the extra thickness of the windows. 24 E38 V12s were produced with this tobacco interior making it one of the most exclusive non-individual leather colors available. The owner of this car has upgraded the steering wheel with the M5 leather wrapped and stitched version and the widescreen navigation out of a 2001 E38. The standard comfort seats have 16-way adjustment. Along the leather stitched door card, the driver has window control switches, mirror adjustment with power folding option. The bottom of the door cards are also wrapped in leather with three memory options and the chrome line speaker grille. The chrome accents in the gauge cluster are a nice touch that enhance the standard chrome line trim. The rest of the dashboard and center console are wrapped in leather and inlaid wood trim throughout. As mentioned, the widescreen navigation was upgraded. Air controls are located below with the rest button for residual engine heat. Below are the heated seat controls, park distance, dynamic stability control, sport electronic dampening control, and the rear sunshade. Even the passenger side airbag cover is finished with leather. The center console features an original Motorola cell phone and leather armrests. The cigar ashtray and lighter are located below and the hazard central locking systems above that. The 5 speed Steptronic shifter finishes off the front space with the chrome line trim. The rear seats are superb and look amazing in tobacco leather. Seat controls for either side passenger seat back and lumbar support are located along the bottom of the seat. Rear door cards are wrapped in stitched leather with window controls, inlaid wood, and wood ashtrays along with the chrome line speaker grills. The back of the front seats features inlaid wood trim and the seat pillars feature mood lighting and further wood accents. The holy shit handles up top, strangely enough, are plain Jane plastic instead of the wood chrome accents consistent with the chrome line package. The center console has basic climate settings with rear heat seat controls and the cigar lighter. Now it's time to fire up this V12. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after quite a while of waiting, we're finally behind the wheel of an E38 750IL. Ho ho ho! Oh, now that's got a startup sound you could never get tired of. With a lot of the BMWs that we cover on this show, we talk about the performance and, uh, you know, sometimes the luxury like we did uh, when we were covering things like my car. But when we sit in this, performance really is not what you're looking at. It truly is luxury and comfort. And you can see that with the way that they designed the interior. Everything is covered in leather. Uh, things like the steering wheel, it's been upgraded with the actual M5 steering wheel with the M stitching throughout it, but everything is soft to the touch. The seats are just as comfortable as they are on mine, but uh, it just feels upscale in comparison. And then the other thing that you notice almost instantly is basically no sound from the outside world. These dual pane glass windows, oh, really block out the sound. Look, you can you get some wind noise, but you can hear, you know, the road and some of the bumps a little bit and then as soon as you shut that it's dead quiet same thing with that v12 that engine is silent right i think the only thing i'm hearing right now 
it's the tires. It's the only the only sound I'm hearing, other than the faint blow of the wind coming through the air conditioning. The only sound is just the the tires. And I, I guarantee you, if you bought like super you know BMW comfort tires, where uh, you know they kind of wear out really quickly, and uh, the the idea of them is to be silent, you'd hear almost nothing in this car. And really, that was the reason why people wanted to buy the V12 in the first place. Uh, it, it's not as luxurious as some of the, the S-Class Mercedes-Benz that we've driven, so you certainly do feel a little bit more of the road than you would in something that's a little bit more luxury-oriented. But this is, is still, you know, slightly performance over uh, over luxury, and especially with the suspension, uh, it, it kind of gives to that a little bit more. But you know, you really get sound insulation, and you know, the power's pretty good too. Give it a little rip. Ooh, yeah. All right, we're gonna go full throttle here. And it takes a second or so for the transmission to get into gear. Yeah, it pulls very, very well. That's for sure. It's not, it's not raw, untamed power. You don't feel like you're gonna lose control. And I think that's the beauty of the V12 is it, it is that effortless power, effortless power in order to get you to where you want to go. Normally, if I'm sitting at a light, um, I, you can feel a little rumble. And, and a lot of the cars that I've driven have a little rumble. But uh, I, without looking at the tachometer, you almost might think that this car is not even running because it is so smooth and it is so quiet. Like there is... It's the, here, if we turn off the air. Yeah, you can't hear anything. Get out of my way. It's got the same issue with the sunroof too. If you're looking to buy one of these cars, uh, sunroof usually, the seals on it kind of wear out. Yeah, it's a 17 year old car, so you can hear the wind coming in through there, but uh, if I were to shut it, Oh yeah, that's quiet. Oh, that's a big difference right there. The driving experience that comes with this 750 IL is incredible. It feels like an entirely new car when driving down the street. I never thought I'd like the amber corner lights, but uh, recent Mercedes models that we feature have helped change my opinion on that. The interior is amazing, and a leather dashboard means the normal plastic off gases aren't going to create a film on your interior windows. The interior plastics are still prone to breaking though, such as the cup holders, OBD port cover, and the glove box handle. When we put together our E38 buyer's guide a few months ago, we discussed the common problems with the V12s, which aren't overly troubling. The V12s are widely considered to be more reliable than their V8 counterparts, as timing chain guides and Vanos aren't issues. Maintenance will be more expensive as you have two mass airflow sensors, 12 spark plugs, two batteries, and a heavier car overall. The dual pane window delaminates over time, making it impossible to see out of. Replacing the glass with a single pane window seems to be a popular option, as new glass is expensive and usually hard to find. This vehicle's average fuel economy was 15 liters per 100 kilometers, or 36% less efficient than the long wheelbase V8. Check out our complete buyer's guide on the E38 BMW 7 Series at the end of this video for more information about the V12 and the other North American E38 models. Thanks for watching this episode of Test Drive Spotlight on the 2000 BMW 750iL. Your support helps make this show possible, so if you've enjoyed our video, please leave a comment and a like and say what's on your mind. We invite you to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with the latest episodes and other videos we're producing here at Perpetual Radio.